discovered that we're each in our own, let's say, covert ways, not quite disobedient creatures, even though in order to keep our heads above water in the public domain, <laughs> we appear to be, to be quite, obedient. quite obedient, yes. I guess the, the ground in common was disobedience, right? <laughs> That's what it turned out to be, didn't it? I think what we were both intrigued about was uh, how do we, you know, how do we inspire an, uh, an idea of disobedience to the public, but also through both our practices, looking at informatics and, and um, intelligence, both in a, an algorithmic way, but also in a physical way. In computer science, and in informatics in particular, we tend to think of normative systems and agents as things that have to be obedient. Yes. And as soon as they're not behaving as predicted or as specified, then this is an error. And what I think you and I both thought was that um, there could be options or opportunities for creativity both, both constructive and destructive, um, but surprising opportunities within, within disobedience that we shouldn't try and rule it out entirely. I, I found as breaking from an engineer into becoming a designer that practices engineering, disobedience helped me a lot in my process and like bringing digital tools into the physical. And I felt intrigued to, to bring this my experience into Richard's world, in a way, uh, and see whether we can break some of these frameworks and norms uh, in the informatics department, I guess. Yes, this is a prototype upon which we built. Uh, where you see a variation of skins, so this is a metal skin, but used robotic welding. So there was actually here, in a way, a pattern, an algorithm that had uh, a different pattern of where the weld points would go to create a particular flexing behaviour and like a particular density. If you can imagine this being a whole wall which then flexes open into a spring. And just by guiding, basically, instructing the robot to create a particular pattern of weld points. Um, it, the, you then tune the behaviour of this material and give it a particular way in which it will move and flex. In a way, uh, this is sort of a disobedient corridor. It's, it's, you know, it's, it breaks our perception about space, about, about structure and architecture being static and how we relate to space and our ability to, to morph and modulate space. We're not really used to be able to, to move a whole wall uh, just with our weight made out of steel. We're not uh, used to be able to reconstruct the space around us. And this gives a very, the intelligence in it lies in its materials, in, it, in the construct of its structure, in the mechanism underneath it, and which allows you to suddenly experience space in a very different way. Create a way. In a way, uh, in our exploration, I guess I stretched it in the completely opposite direction of how do we look at intelligence and its disobedience from a completely physical and uh, in many ways you could say analogue but an intelligence, an artificial intelligence still which is material and structural and to then compare it to a more opaque um, construct of an algorithmic intelligence and um, having a space being disobedient within that and how, having the human being a disobedient actor within that space Yes, sure. As the engineer here, you've got a, a device which is obviously very physical indeed and um, capable in some sense of, of disobedience or at least unexpected behaviour, shall we say. Where we found our spot is to 
inspire people to disobey, to discover, but also to, to discover ourselves what are disobedient constructs in, our, in, the, in the context of, our, of the intelligence that we create. Yeah, I think breaking the mould is something, is, is an interesting idea here. That we tend to be very linear and progressive in informatics. We tend to go on doing things roughly the way we've always done, with little tweaks and improvements and so on, but not really step changes uh, in particular. And working with NASA gave us the opportunity, perhaps, to introduce some really fresh thinking and to introduce um, the possibility of doing something that was really very different um, from what we've been doing before um, in terms of just the way that we think about problems in informatics and the way to go about solving them. Mm -hmm.